Welcome, curious minds, to our journey into the enigmatic depths of the NFJ psyche. Today we embark on a quest to unravel the mysteries of what unfolds when the tranquil waters of an INFJ's demeanor are stirred by the tempest of anger. Join us as we navigate through the labyrinth of emotions and unearth the eight captivating facets of an INFJ's wrath. Unwithdrawal. When anger seizes an INFJ, their introspective tendencies come to the forefront. In these moments, they retreat into the sanctuary of their inner world, seeking solace amidst the turmoil of their emotions. This withdrawal isn't a sign of weakness, but rather a manifestation of their deep need for introspection. INFJs navigate the turbulent currents of anger by immersing themselves in quiet reflection, allowing them to gain clarity and understanding before re-emerging into the external world. Passive Aggression When anger simmers within an INFJ, they may veer towards passive-aggressive tendencies as a means of expressing their discontent. Rather than confront the source of their anger head-on, INFJs might resort to subtle yet pointed behaviors. These can include veiled remarks laced with sarcasm, intentional avoidance of interactions, or even withholding communication altogether. While these actions may seem indirect, they serve as a channel for the INFJ to communicate their frustrations while still attempting to maintain a semblance of harmony in their surroundings. Idealization versus Devaluation In moments of anger, INFJs can undergo a complex emotional journey characterized by idealization and devaluation. Initially, they may idealize the individual or situation that triggered their anger, recalling positive attributes or past experiences in an attempt to reconcile their feelings. However, as their anger intensifies, INFJs may transition into a phase of devaluation where they scrutinize and magnify perceived flaws or shortcomings in the same person or situation. This internal tug of war between idealization and devaluation reflects the INFJ's struggle to reconcile conflicting emotions and perceptions, often leading to inner turmoil and confusion. Four, intense emotional expression. Despite their usual composed demeanor, INFJs are capable of experiencing intense emotional outbursts when pushed to their limits. When angered, their deeply held emotions may erupt in a torrent of raw expression. This can manifest in various ways, from tears streaming down their cheeks to raised voices echoing their frustration. For INFJs, these moments of intense emotional expression serve as a release valve for the pent-up emotions they've been holding inside. It's a visceral response to feeling overwhelmed by anger a temporary departure from their typically calm and collected demeanor. Owl. 5. Seeking Solitude When consumed by anger, INFJs often find solace in solitude. Retreating to a quiet sanctuary allows them to distance themselves from the source of their frustration and regain their composure. In this tranquil space, they can introspectively examine the root causes of their anger, untangle their emotions, and contemplate potential solutions. Solitude becomes their sanctuary, offering a haven where they can recalibrate their inner equilibrium and emerge with a clearer perspective. For INFJs, this time alone isn't about isolation, but rather a necessary step in their journey towards emotional balance and understanding. In this secluded environment, INFJs engage in self-care activities that help soothe their troubled minds, whether it's journaling, meditating, or immersing themselves in creative pursuits. Through introspection and reflection, they can channel their anger into productive avenues, transforming it into motivation for personal growth and positive change. Once they've navigated the turbulent waters of their emotions, INFJs emerge from their solitude with a renewed sense of clarity and purpose, ready to face the world with a calmer demeanor and a deeper understanding of themselves. Say silent treatment. When INFJs get mad, they may resort to the silent treatment as a way to cope with their emotions. Instead of expressing their anger directly, they withdraw from communication with the person or situation that triggered their frustration. This withdrawal can manifest as a complete shutdown of verbal and nonverbal communication, leaving the other party feeling confused and isolated. ANFJs use the silent treatment as a means of expressing their displeasure without having to confront the source of their anger directly. However, while it may provide temporary relief, 
the silent treatment can also lead to further misunderstandings and strain in relationships, if not addressed effectively, and ruminating thoughts. When INFJs become angry, they often find themselves trapped in a cycle of ruminating thoughts. Their minds become consumed by the event or situation that triggered their anger, and they obsessively replay it over and over again. ANFJs analyze the incident from every possible angle, trying to make sense of their emotions and the underlying reasons for their anger. They may dwell on past interactions, dissecting each moment in search of clarity and understanding. This rumination can be both exhausting and relentless, as INFJs struggle to break free from the grip of their racing thoughts. Despite their best efforts to find resolution, they may find themselves stuck in a loop of rumination, unable to move past their anger until they've thoroughly examined every aspect of the situation. 8. Physical Symptoms Sometimes, anger can manifest physically for INFJs, affecting not only their emotional state, but also their physical well-being. When INFJs become angry, they may notice various physical symptoms emerging as a result of their heightened emotional distress. Tension in their muscles, particularly in the neck, shoulders, and jaw, is a common manifestation of their anger. They may find themselves clenching their fists or grinding their teeth unconsciously as their bodies respond to the intense emotions brewing within them. Additionally, INFJs may experience headaches or migraines during episodes of anger. The stress and tension associated with their emotional turmoil can trigger throbbing or pulsating pain in their temples or forehead, making it challenging to concentrate or focus on tasks at hand. These headaches serve as a physical reminder of their inner turmoil, further exacerbating their feelings of frustration and discomfort. Furthermore, some INFJs may experience stomach discomfort or digestive issues when they're angry. The emotional upheaval caused by their anger can disrupt their gastrointestinal system, leading to symptoms such as nausea, indigestion, or stomach cramps. These physical sensations add an additional layer of discomfort to their already turbulent emotional state, intensifying their overall sense of unease and agitation. Overall, these physical manifestations of anger serve as tangible reminders of the depth of INFJ's emotional experiences. By recognizing and addressing these physical symptoms, INFJs can take proactive steps to manage their anger more effectively and promote their overall well-being. And there you have it, the eight intriguing reactions that unfold when an INFJ gets mad. From withdrawal and passive aggression to intense emotional expression and physical manifestations, the complexities of an INFJ's anger reveal the depth of their emotional experiences Join us next time as we delve even deeper into the intricate layers of the INFJ personality, exploring the nuances of their thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Until then, may your journey be filled with understanding, introspection, and a deeper appreciation for the complexities of human emotion. Remember, understanding how INFJs react when angered can deepen our empathy and connection with these complex individuals. If you found this exploration insightful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more enlightening content on personality and human behavior. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and share it with anyone who might benefit from understanding the INFJ mindset. Until next time, may your journey be filled with empathy, understanding, and meaningful connections.